Hi, I'm Joe with Blackwater Creek Koi Farms located here in central and northwestern Florida. Uh, I want to talk to you a little bit today about something that's been a passion of ours for a long time and that is butterfly or longfin koi. Uh, the butterfly koi have a little different look to them than your standard fin fish. They have very long flowing fins. Um, because they've been around for a fairly short time, it's taken a lot of breeding and a lot of uh, selective uh, selection of these fish and of these babies in order to get these long flowing fins on the standard fin traits. We also produce a lot of standard fin varieties as well. And you know, a lot of times we'll get a question of why do these fish cost what they do? You know, it looks like you've got a lot of fish. Why do they cost so much? Well, to answer that, I could say that a 10-pound koi, a 10-pound female, will give you almost 600,000 eggs. And out of those 600,000 eggs, uh, once they are laid on the mats, will give you about 60,000 babies, if you're lucky, about 10%. And then out of that, when these babies grow up to be about an inch long, we will select 10% of those that are actually sellable. And you keep whittling down these numbers until you get the very few that actually look like the parents. So there's a lot of work, a lot of labor, a lot of selection, a lot of feeding, and a lot of real estate in order to get these few fish that have the qualities that we're looking for. On top of that is that if you want a red and white fish or you want a, a pond full of red and white babies, you don't take just two red and white fish and breed them together and boom, you get what you need. To breed a red and white and a red and white together, you get all types of varieties, but you only pick the red and white out of that. And because of our biosecurity, we do not bring in broodstock from any place else. We have to maintain acres and acres of broodstock. So on a red and white variety, we may have 50 broodstock at any one time scattered amongst the ponds uh, so that if we have a problem someplace, we have a lightning strike or um, knock on wood, we haven't had a meteor hit one of the ponds yet, but we are prepared for anything. That is, if we lose some broodstock, we're able to go back and get the genetics from another pond and keep on selectively breeding. Uh, believe it or not, each one of the fish in here and each one of our broodstock out on the ponds has a pedigreed card that we use to identify it and we use to track their breeding process to see what kind of uh, babies they're producing. Are they producing good quality, bad quality? We switch those up until we get those breeding pairs that work to give us the best fish. So significant investment, lots and lots of hand sorting of fish to get those few fish that have the qualities that we're looking for. And then of those fish, they're sent off to great customers such as Earthworks who are able to provide them on display and for, and for sale. Uh, to the general public 365 days a year. One of the other traits that you'll find on, on Blackwater Creek specifically is that we produce all of the varieties in almost all of the sizes almost all of the time, which makes it very convenient. It's very difficult on our side. Uh, for instance, if we were a horse farm, we may only breed paint horses. But uh, if you wanted a, an Appaloosa, you would go to a different farm. Because we maintain such a large amount of broodstock and have professional staff, we're able to produce with expertise each one of these varieties and have them in one location all the time where you can come in and get everything you need, one-stop shop, and that would be at Earthworks.